With over 375,000 people, a newly accredited metropolitan city, and a state-of-the-art world equestrian center, Ocala, Florida is officially on the rise. And today, my friends, we're going to be stepping into one of the most luxurious properties here in the heart of Ocala, Florida. Let's begin, my friends. Today, my friends, we're gonna be stepping into one of the most exquisite homes I've ever been able to have the pleasure of touring. This home is located here in the heart of Ocala. And before we get inside this property, I wanna make sure you guys understand the specs on this home and exactly what's nearby and where it's located here in Ocala. First and foremost, let's start with the specs. This home has four bedrooms, one flex room, three bathrooms, 3,360 square feet under air, a three-car garage, my friends, and best of all, it has 1.34 acres of agricultural land. Now, just to point something out real quick, there is a lot right next to us that's over an acre as well that is currently for sale for $160,000, just for something to keep in mind while you're watching this video. Now to give you a perspective on where this home is located, we're only 14 minutes away from downtown Ocala Square where you're gonna have a bunch of beautiful restaurant options, fine dining. Mark's Prime Steakhouse is one of the best ones there. La Cuisine, Brick City Barbecue, and La Cantina Tex-Mex. Those are some of the best options in the downtown square. When you go, it makes you feel very warm charming and it's a really nice area to just walk with your family over the weekend we're only 27 minutes away from the world equestrian center for anybody who isn't aware there are only two world equestrian centers in the entire world one's in ocala and the other one's in ohio and here in ocala we adopted that name as the horse capital of the world and for good reason there are more championship horses here in ocala than anywhere else in the world we're only 12 minutes away from Highway 200 and on Highway 200 is where you're gonna find all of your commercial centers, chain restaurants, your Lowe's, your Home Depot, your Paddock Mall. And then one of my personal favorite places to visit when I am spending time in Ocala is going to be Market Street at Heathbrook. The reason why I like to go, it's because it gives you the outdoor mall environment. You're gonna have your Barnes and Noble, you're gonna have La Margarita's Mexican restaurant. So could go read a book, go get a margarita with the family and then go watch a movie at IMAX theaters. So it has everything. You're also gonna have Panera's, Jim's, Dillard's. You're gonna have pretty much everything in this shopping plaza. Now, one of the most underrated things I think about when it comes to Ocala is the natural environments that are close by to this area. You're gonna have Silver Springs, less than 20 minutes away. Shalom Park, which is a botanical garden, less than 20 minutes away, and Rainbow Springs in Dinellan is 30 minutes away, my friends. So if you are somebody who lives in Ocala or are thinking to move to Central Florida, these are different areas that you definitely wanna visit if you are someone who loves nature. Now, to give you a grander scale, we're an hour and a half from Orlando, hour and a half from Tampa, two and a half hours from Jacksonville, and four hours from Naples, Florida, and Miami, Florida. So that gives you a little bit of a perspective on where we are. Truth be told, Wherever you are in Florida, you're never more than an hour and a half away from a beach. Here, we have Crystal River, only an hour away, which can get you out to the Gulf of Mexico. And on the East Coast, it's about a two hour and a half hour drive if you want the Atlantic water. Now, at the end of this video, I'm gonna get my iPad out and I'm gonna break down the financing for you guys on this home. We're gonna start with the price, the taxes, and then we're gonna get into a little bit of what it's gonna look like for you, down payment wise, what are your loan options, and also what would a mortgage payment look like if you were just putting 20 or 30% down? We're gonna be looking at all those numbers so you guys can be well informed if buying a home is something you see in the near future. Now with that, let's go ahead and get started.
Now, as soon as you turn into this subdivision, I want you to realize that there are only five homes in this mini subdivision. So what you're gonna feel whenever you come into this area, it's very intimate, it's very quiet, and it's very peaceful, my friends. Now, like I mentioned to the left of us, we're gonna have a nice lot that is for sale. So if someone is looking to expand, that is an option right there. Right over here, we have the long driveway leading up to the motor court where we're gonna have our three car garage. You're gonna have this nice stacked stone on the exterior north facing side of the home. Three windows that look into the garage and then you're gonna have another two windows from the garage space. So if you are somebody that likes to work in the garage, you're gonna get a lot of natural light coming in. To the right of me, we're gonna have this nice pebble landscaping. And then right in front of it, we're gonna have nice new brick pavers that the owners just installed. Really, when you walk in front of this property and you're the owners or you have, this is your home, I guarantee you the very first compliment you're gonna get is on this grand entrance. You're gonna have the nice columns and then you're gonna have the stacked stone next to it. Statues right over here, elephant right over there, beautiful bushes. And you are gonna have the brick pavers that can take you all the way around to the back pool area. So this, this entrance just is something special. And man, let's see what inside has to offer. As soon as you step into this home, it, it really gives you that wow factor. Here we step into the foyer, have nice tall ceilings with the hanging light. We've got this beautiful sculpture of Marcus Aurelius. And now we step into the home. Now this is what an open floor plan is. When you describe it in a dictionary, this is what it's gonna look like. Right behind me, we're gonna have the formal living room where you're gonna have your nice couches set up, your TVs. And right over here, we're gonna have the kitchen space. This open floor space is just incredible. So let's touch it one by one. First and foremost, this main area of the home is gonna have the glossy porcelain tiles. These are absolutely beautiful. They literally shine with the light coming from outside. And this living room just is done correctly. You have your couches, nice chair, and your TV. We're gonna have the triple layer tray ceilings in here with the beautiful chandelier right above it. And this just gives you a perspective on how you can beautifully set up the home. Now, everybody has their creative imagination and how you could do this and how you could do that. But in my opinion, I would leave it as is. This is incredible. Right over here, we're gonna have one and only flex room of this property. You transition from the glossy porcelain into the engineered hardwood flooring. You're gonna have a nice big arched window looking into the north side of the property. And this is beautiful. Also with the French doors that come in and out, something exquisite. If we come right over here, we're gonna have our formal dining room. You're gonna have these beautiful columns in here, nice custom dining set. This is absolutely beautiful. This is Chinese themed, and I believe a one of a kind table that the owners were able to get. You're gonna have three windows overlooking the north side of the property as well. And we're also gonna have the hardwood floors in here. Now stepping out of the dining room, we're here in the kitchen, my friends. My goodness, this truly is the heart of this home. The first thing that comes to mind is Thanksgiving. Imagine your Thanksgiving's here. You have all of your food spread out, starting here all around the corners of the property, ending right over here. And you're gonna finish with a huge plate of food. This kitchen is just incredible, my friends. This island, very large quartz. Some of the design here is, they wanted to make sure whenever you're in the kitchen, you don't have to leave the kitchen. So they made it easily accessible. So if you have your phones, you need to get it charged. Nobody has to go anywhere else but here. Everybody's spending time together. Everybody's spending quality time together. This is what this kitchen offers. All of the cabinets in the kitchen and 
in the entire home are going to be custom made. These little handle fixtures were imported from China and they are one of a kind, something very beautiful. A few of the other fine details here is you're gonna have this nice backsplash all the way to the top of the ceiling here around the range. Over here where the gas grill is. My goodness. Right over here you have your fridge, your farmhouse sink, your dishwasher, your double oven. Right down here we're gonna have our microwave and this is something exquisite. There's something just different whenever you have propane or gas powered stovetop. It's just a different type of steak. Whenever you cook on gas, it's just something a little bit different. So it's very unique, very nice. You also got your nice gold pot filler range right above. Love these little extra finishes here on the side. And last feature is you're gonna have cabinetry on all sides of the island here in this kitchen. So down here, you're gonna have cabinets all around. You're gonna have beautiful cabinets. Right over here, you're gonna have your propane powered fireplace with the nice mantle, TV standing right above it with a nice chandelier right above. Now we're gonna step into this area. This is where you're gonna be able to have your breakfast nook, nice hanging light fixture as well. And you know, this is where you can get creative. This is a home that has a lot of space. Like even this middle space here, you could set up another maybe dining room table or play table, but you definitely have that space and they designed it so these chandeliers would be above anything you placed here in the middle of this area. Now my friends, let's get into the primary bedroom. Stepping into the primary, we're gonna transition from the porcelain into the engineered hardwood again. Right in here, we're gonna have our master closet with all custom cabinetry in there. Right over here is gonna be your linen. And now we step into the master bedroom, my friends. This is gonna be 14 by 20 feet, just to give you a perspective on the size of this room. This is a king size bed, nice chandelier up top, TV, dresser. And one of the coolest features about this primary bedroom is that you're actually gonna have your nice fireplace that is gonna be on this retaining wall where you're gonna have access to it over there in the master bath. Let's go take a look. Now stepping into the master bath, we're gonna transition again into the porcelain. This was the fireplace I was mentioning to you about right over here, right next to the standing tub. And this is just something beautiful in here. You're gonna have your two sinks, custom cabinetry again, mirrors imported all the way from Turkey. And this is just a bathroom where you wanna spend your time getting ready in the morning. You wanna look at yourself in the mirror here and just get ready for the day. Take a deep breath and man, something beautiful. Right over here, we're gonna have our caved in shower with beautiful subway tiles all the way to the top to the ceiling. And this is quite the experience here in this bath. Now, let's check out the rest of the house. Now, right outside of the primary bedroom, my friends, we're gonna have our laundry room here. We're gonna have a nice set where you're gonna have the quartz that you saw in the kitchen, your washer, your dryer, your same custom cabinetry, your farmhouse sink, and a nice window to bring in some extra natural light here in this laundry room. Now, if we step outside right over here, we're gonna have the entrance into the three car garage, my friends. Now, in this three car garage, there's no lights on, but you can see how illuminated it is. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the tour, if you do like to do handyman work, anything like that, this is gonna be a perfect space. There is a little room right in here where you're gonna have your AC air handlers and two brand new furnaces that were installed just last year on this property. Now, continuing with the interior, we're gonna head over to the west wing of the property. Mm -hmm. 
Now, right over here in this corner of the house, we are gonna have very full bedroom right in here. This is currently used as a workstation. And this is gonna be about 11 by 10 bedroom, just to give you perspective on the size of this room. Right outside, we're gonna have the a full bathroom, my friends. Right over here, we're gonna have transition from the glossy porcelain to the mosaic flooring, quartz countertop, toilet, walk-in shower, boom. Right over here, we're gonna have some extra closet space. Now, let's get over here. Now in this corner of the house, we're gonna have two bedrooms and one full bathroom. Now, right over here, be stepping in, and here we're gonna have our LVP. This is gonna be a 12 by 11 feet. Give you another perspective on the size. Here you're gonna have your closet and a nice window facing the west side of the property. Now we cut across and we have another bedroom. Same size, window facing the south side of the home, and you are gonna have these nice uh, light fixtures from above, beautifully designed guest bedroom, and this is it. Now in between these two bedrooms, you're gonna also have this guest full bathroom in here, quartz countertop, double sink, walk-in shower, nice window, linen closet, toilet, really nice features in here as well. Love the fixtures, love the mirrors that they put together and also the handle fixtures here for the sink. And down here, all the cabinetry is beautiful. Now, right outside of here, we're gonna have one entrance into the back patio, but something really cool is that's just one of the four entrances on this property. So right over here, we're gonna have another one from the living room and then one from the kitchen. And lastly, we had one from the master bedroom. Let's step outside. Now, this is exquisite, truly. Beautiful back patio space, covered lanai. Everything is brand new. Here is where you're gonna have your outdoor grill. I recently just bought a grill, guys, and I have not used my stove ever since I got a grill. I cook on the grill every morning, every evening, and this is just something incredible. Coming out here, being able to utilize this, grill for the family, have cookouts, watch the game, this is what this space is meant for. Right over here, we're gonna have our beautiful pool that just got finished being built two days ago, my friend. So this is a brand new pool that has built here. We're gonna have the screened in lanai as well for it that is brand new. And this is just something beautiful. Got the nice waterfall coming into the pool. Now stepping outside, my friends, this is what this property is all about. Having a piece of land, especially agricultural land, something quite incredible here in the heart of Ocala. There is no HOA, there is no CDD on this property, so you can plant whatever plants you want. You can do as you wish with your property. This is something incredible. Now that we're at the back of the home, I also wanna mention the roof was brand new from 2023. They also introduced solar panels into the property, which costed them over $30,000. It is completely paid off, so there is no transferring of mortgage if someone was looking to get into this property. And this is it, my friends. In my opinion, the house is the most incredible part. And then this land is just the icing on the cake. I'm curious, for any viewers out there, is there anything else you would do to this backyard? If you were able to come into this home, what would be some things you would utilize and do to this backyard? Would you create a little mini garden? If so, what kind of plants or fruit trees or what kind of creative things would you implement in this space back here? So let me know. And, but for now, let's get back inside my friends and let's talk some numbers. Come with me.
So here we are at the end of the tour, ladies and gentlemen, and now we're gonna break down all of the important information you guys need to get started with. So let's go ahead and recap the property. First and foremost, the property has four bedrooms, one flex room, three bathrooms, and 3,360 square feet, a three car garage on 1.34 acres of land. Now I want you to remember this is agricultural land. So meaning you can have livestock on this property. You can have all the plants and trees that you want to get on this property. You can do that here. So if you're someone who likes to, you want to build a greenhouse, you can do so here uh, very efficiently. Now the purchase price of this home, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right into it. This is going to be one million five hundred and seventy five thousand dollars ladies and gentlemen this is the current purchase price of the property listed on the market here in florida now going on to a few other details about this property some of the important things we want to know is that this is going to be in flood zone x meaning that you really have no chance of any flooding coming into this property now here in florida everybody asks a question about hurricanes right Hurricanes come, hurricanes go. I've lived here for 26 years of my life. I've experienced every single hurricane that's hit the state of Florida in the past 26 years. And really the worst thing that happened is we lost power for two days during Hurricane Charlie. Um, and that was there in Central Florida. The good thing is we're in Ocala, we're further north, and we're also very central. That's a big reason why insurance rates are lower here in Ocala and it's a lot safer than if you're on the coast or really near the water. The next thing is the water source here is gonna be well water. There is also a water softener coming with this property, which is something that makes the water soft water. So here in Florida, we do tend to have uh, hard water here if we get it from the Florida aquifer. So once you have that water softener, it turns it soft and makes it just a lot cleaner and, and filters out all those extra mineral that the water has. Next thing is that this property is going to be on septic tank. A lot of properties with no HOA in Central Florida do utilize a septic tank. It is quite normal. And this is where we are at. Now, getting into the next steps, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about if you were somebody looking to finance this property, what would your down payment need to look like, right? So you would probably end up using a conventional jumbo loan right fha loan you could but it really makes no sense um, because you'd be putting over a million honestly 1.1 million dollars down and you'd still have to pay private mortgage insurance and it makes absolutely no sense conventional jumbo loan that is going to require a minimum of a 30 percent down payment which on a property like this would be four hundred and seventy two thousand five hundred dollars okay the next thing is taxes on this property are gonna be $8,000 per year. And the insurance rate on this property is gonna be $2,400 per year. Now we wanted to give you a little bit of an idea as well as what your monthly payment would look like considering all of these numbers and all of this information, right? So the final number that you'd really be looking at is gonna be around $7,477 per month with doing a 30% down payment, right? Now, if you wanted to put 50, 60, 70% down, you absolutely could. Uh, what I'd really recommend is you could go on Google, look at mortgage calculator, and they are very accurate with their numbers there. You just wanna make sure you're putting in the precise details. So if you go in there, put taxes at 8,000, insurance at 2,400, uh, and a down payment maybe at 50%, you'll get the different number, you'll get the different monthly payment. Again, another big thing to note is there is no HOA, no HOA, which is super cool about this property. You're in the subdivision with five other homes, no HOA, very exclusive. And truly, it doesn't really get better than having something so private like this. Now, final thing, guys, is I know there's a lot of viewers out there. A lot of you guys have seen past videos and a lot of you followers now have been giving so much support and so much love really. And I wanna always do the best I can for my clients, for the subscribers, for all of you guys. Um, if there is anybody interested in this specific property 
or if there is anyone looking in Central Florida, maybe for something similar, I want you to do something. I want you to go at the, and then we're gonna spell my last name, which is quite difficult. It's called Montiuti. So the Montiuti group dot com the Montiuti group dot com i have subpar handwriting but i hope you can read this and this is something you could go on our website right now fill out your information on what you're looking for and we'll reach out directly here on our team you could work with us directly we do also have four other agents on the team that are highly skilled professional realtors that are able to assist you with all of your needs. Their names are gonna be John Paul Gutierrez, Roger Brito, Sylvia Yana Johnson, and Wilfredo Medina. We also have five employees working at all times to make sure you guys have a seamless transaction and an incredible experience. Uh, so we're here uh, to make sure you guys do have excellent experience when you're looking to move to Florida. My friends, that is it. If you want to call us directly, this is our number, right? And we will answer the phone and get back or get back to you right away. I love you all so much. Thank you for tuning in. And if you did like this video, make sure to go look at some of the past videos because there's some pretty cool houses that we've been touring lately. I'll talk to you soon.